Not a 3 time baby, let's do this. Starting with Sony because they like to do things by themselves and I'm not waiting multiple weeks to talk about this. In fact, let's talk about that a bit right now. It took like two years for the PS4 to get its first next gen real exclusive system seller. And now, here we are about a year and a half into the PS5's life, barely anyone actually owns one, half the games that would be system sellers are out or are gonna be out on PS4, and the only legit system sellers we have are these. Which, I don't want to talk shit, but that one's a nice looking PS3 game, that one was absolutely not the most talked about roguelike last year, and okay, to be fair, I don't play Ratchet & Clank, I want to play Ratchet & Clank, I've heard good things about Ratchet & Clank, but I don't know a lot of people who would go through all the trouble of buying a PS5 just for Ratchet & Clank. Well, okay, except for one group of people. Anyway, now that Sony is finally trying to push out enough PS5 so that people could actually buy them, now that they finally have a good time to talk about some real system sellers, they make a state of play about a headset. A headset that's probably gonna cost too much and needs a PS5 to work, when they're in the middle of trying to fix a shortage of them. Sony, are you on drugs? Cause if so, make a sequel to this and put that on VR. But in addition to that, we also have third party. So okay, not a total loss. And hey, this is the first time I'm looking over a game showcase. So let's make some predictions. Bioshock. It has been forever since Bioshock 4 was supposed to be in development. I love these games. I love the story. I need to question my reality again. Hit me with Bioshock 4. <laughs> Titanfall 3. Titanfall 2 was unironically one of the coolest first person shooters I've ever played, and even though it got its ass kicked by Infinite Warfare and pushed it aside by Apex Legends, people have still been wanting a sequel for years. They even teased it at the end, so come on. Titanfall 3, let's do this. <laughs> Okay, hear me out. Remember when they had a GTA 5 trailer for the PS5 reveal? What if they redeemed themselves today by having a GTA 6 trailer and it's a return to Vice City? Show me GTA 6 Vice City. Mm. Bucks next 2. Mm. Final Fantasy 7 Part 2. Mm. Final Fantasy 16? Okay, so we're at least getting one good game. Probably gonna save it for last though. Eh, Alright, might as well see what they start with. What the fuck? You guys started with the RE4 remake? Who the fuck starts with the RE4 remake, you fucking madmen? It looks like a next gen exclusive too, holy shit! And VR2 support, yeah that's about right. Speaking of which, look at that, more VR2 stuff. Alright, we got Resident Evil, not Resident Evil, game that apparently got really, really, really good over time, and a new Horizon. Can't wait to see what comes out a week after that one. I mean, nothing crazy, but also, neat. How much this fucker cost? Oh, okay, you guys are waiting on that. I guess they're waiting until more people have a PS5. Alright, between this and the RE4 trailer, I think you guys are actually making good business decisions. This isn't the Sony I know and tolerate. I love it, what's next? Update to Horizon Forbidden West, let me know when the DLC comes out. Next, PS5 version of Spider-Man coming to PC. They are 100% bringing back the old face, aren't they? They are going to mod that in so fast. I mean, hey, no complaints here. As long as the modders have time to make these suits, I'm in. Next. Oh, it's the cat game. It's the game where you play as a cat with special box stealth gameplay. Let's talk about Pokemon. It looks like they have a combination of the open areas with legends and the traditional turn-based style like in the older games. You can travel with your friends, you have a pig Pokemon with a funny name. People have even been suggesting the idea that this might finally be the game where you can fight the gym leaders out of order and they have different teams depending on the number of badges you have. It all looks very promising despite fans not caring about any of that and focusing on the sexy professors. My biggest question, however, is how come the Pokemon centers just don't have walls around the entire building anymore and are in the middle of random areas? Like, imagine a vet's office in the middle of a mountain covered by snow, but no outer walls. Do you see the problem here? Okay, back to Sony. Resident Evil in space? Dead space? Neat. Next. I'll take 50 copies. Sometimes I wonder if things will ever be normal again. Kingdom Hearts? Oh. 
Kingdom Hearts plus Persona. Kingdom Hearts plus Persona plus Akira. Okay, so this is just animated game. Action games and dating sims collide in Eternites, coming to PS5 and PS4 next year. It's an action game dating sim? Ooh, I sense a lot of fan art in the near future. Don't get me wrong, it looks neat, but oh man, that's gonna have a lot of pages on a certain site. Let's check back in with Capcom for a new look at an upcoming heavy hitter. Okay, well Capcom's pretty much been running this entire thing, so... DMC6? Oh, Street Fighter 6. Neat. Yeah, I'm not disappointed, I just know nothing about this series. All I know is Punch Punch Kick Kick Evo Moment 37. Also, apparently there's more versions of Street Fighter 2 than there are numbered versions of Street Fighter. There's no joke here, that's just a thing that actually happened. Next! Holy fuck, we're finally getting Fest 2! Ooh, this is- this is better than Fest 2! Damn, Phil Fish must be pissed! And now we have... I have no idea what this game is about, but he pets cows and it looks pretty. I'm in. And with that, the only thing left is Final Fantasy 16. Let's see how they did. Oh, that poor Sonic game.